We have arrived at the airport way too late. It's giving off uh, tiki vibes. Tiki. Look at the camera. You can Whoa. see all the stars. At all, it's not a plane. It's yeah. I don't know. It's it was weird. weird. <laughs> it was very weird. I said the magic word "dinaguang" and That's you were it. up and running. Oh my God. Big cool gong, and I'm allowed to gong the gong. Oh, this is a nice looking pool. This is the perfect gym. Wow, look at the view you get. Do you like it? Mm. Good morning guys, welcome to a very early morning here at Manila Airport. Today we're embarking on a brand new adventure, brand new journey. Something that we've been excited for for a while because we get to visit some new places but also some places that we've been to before and that we have been missing. But more about that destination in a little bit. Right now we actually have to hustle because we have arrived at the airport way too late. Have around 8 minutes to get through security and to the gate to be in time before boarding ends at our gate. Luckily today we're traveling with Cebu Pacific and we're actually doing this trip together with Cebu Pacific and a local tourism board that I'm very excited to talk about in a little bit. First things first, security. literally took no time whatsoever. What gate are we at? 132. Ah, that's upstairs, no? Or oh, is 132 downstairs? Somewhere on the left here. Yeah. 132. Yeah, that went so fast. Surprisingly fast, right? There were so many people, but it went super, super efficient. So I don't think we're gonna miss our flight today. I don't think so. <laughs> Crazy to think that like 10 minutes ago we were still at home. But at this time, if you're going to the airport, there's no traffic. And so that's something that blows my mind every time because I have taken three hours to get from BGC to the airport and I have taken eight minutes to get from BGC to the airport. So crazy. So how many minutes before gate closing were we at the gate? How many minutes before gate closing? A minute. <laughs> the minute. Really? Uh, yeah, exactly the minute. So this is us? Yeah. This is us. This is, well, maybe this is the second buzz already. Might be. <laughs> because we're like very, I mean. We're cutting it close. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And it's uh, so gate, an hour and 15. Flight. Gate closing was at 3.25 and it's 3.26. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we made it. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Hours and the cruising altitude will be at 28,000 feet. Weather, okay. weather and route is forecasted to be fair, and the NOAA weather update shall be reported prior to our descent. Your safety and comfort is always our priority. We request all guests to pay attention to announcements from the flight deck and cabin crew. Your useful patience, full cooperation, and compliance are highly appreciated. Please do not hesitate to call on the attention of your cabin crew should you require further assistance or clarification. Welcome to Lawak City. What a lovely and very, very fast flight. We actually arrived I think, almost 30 minutes early. Yeah. Damn! Fastest pilot in the Philippines. <laughs> anyway, right now um, it's 21 degrees Celsius here. So quite cool for uh, the Philippines. Yeah. Right now we're gonna um, basically, I don't know, go to the hotel. 
it's only five o'clock in the morning so we're here really early just kind of nice it's kind of nice Again, my name is Arlie. So, uh, for now, we are going to proceed to your hotel. Uh, later, we'll go out at 12 noon. And then we will do the tour. Uh, we'll do Malacanang of the North, Pauay Church. We'll visit also Sicho Remedios. And then, you will have also uh, the Sand Dunes Adventure later. <laughs> That's a highlight of your tour. Yeah. So we have just arrived at our first accommodation here in Lauak, which is the Amici Resort Hotel. Amici. It's giving off Amici, right? Yeah, yeah it's giving off uh, tiki vibes. Tiki. Tiki. You know tiki bar? No. You've never heard of a tiki bar? Well, this is giving off tiki bar vibes. Let's uh, go inside. I'm really glad that we landed a little bit early because we had to get up so early this morning it'll give us a chance to have a little sleep at least like two or three hours of sleep before we start exploring around Lawak. There's a lot of adventures that we're going to be engaging in today so we need some rest. So we're just talking about how beautiful the star sky is. Oh you can even see it on camera. Are you joking? Yeah now look. Oh well now not there's a tree here but if you look here you can see this. Look at the camera. Look okay. here. You can Whoa. see all the stars. Whoa. And we had a little bit of an incident earlier. Oh my god, so we could have caught that on camera and yeah. send it to channel 7. Yeah, we were looking at the stars and then all of a sudden one of the stars just started moving, moving. and flying around <laughs> in circles and up and down and left and right. And no direction at all. It's not a plane. It's... Yeah. I don't know. It's it was weird. weird. It was very weird. <laughs> Alrighty, and this is home. Oh, very nice. Thank you, Kuya. Oh, nice. This is huge. Very nice. Thank you. Wow. Very nice, right? Wow, which bed are you taking? I'm easy. <laughs> Quick tour. Here we have bathroom. Oh, nice big shower. Cool. Okay guys, we're gonna have a little bit of a rest and I will check in with you guys for breakfast and I'll give you a little bit of a property tour because this place definitely does look interesting. Ooh, just had a three hour nap. Can you still call it a nap? I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, things look completely differently in the morning when the light, when the sun is out and everything is nice and bright this place is really really beautiful and cute it didn't show so much yesterday or this morning wow great would have loved that thing going i said the magic word dinner guang and you were up and running oh my god so here they have this very very big cool gong and i'm allowed to gong the gong so i'm gonna give it a try oh this is a nice looking pool this is the perfect gym wow look at the view you get do you like it Mm. When we arrived. Anyway, I'm just gonna head to the breakfast place to get a quick breakfast. Gray is still too tired to sleep, uh, to wake up. Oh my god, what's going on with my brain? <laughs> I got I got uh, almost like jet lag brain. Gray still wants to sleep a little bit longer. I'm gonna go and grab breakfast. We really didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but breakfast is until 10 o'clock and right now it is quarter to 10. So here we have a nice selection of longanisa, some fried fish, some uh, eggplant kind of salad, dinner guang, wow, Gray would have loved that dinner guang, beef stew, pancit canton it looks like, they call it Johnson's sauteed noodles here, then we have some pancakes and then over here we have, morning, over here we have the egg station, I think this is where I'm gonna get my fix, uh, can I get an omelette? Yes, sir. <laughs> Look who decided to join us for breakfast after all. I'm so hungry. I said the magic word dinner guang and yes, you were yes. up and running. Oh my god, this is so good. Yeah. I didn't know so it's called dinner guang kapampangan and when we're in Manila I always struggle to find a good dinner guang. 
So it turns out it, this is what it's called. Tinuguan Kapampangan. Because it's the one where it's a little bit sour and they use innards instead of meat. Mm -hmm. It's the one I had last time. It's pure meat, which I can't like. I like the innards. I like the, <laughs> like the weird stuff in there. And this is that. Well, what a way to start breakfast. Yeah. Okay, now you're speaking so highly. Or would I have to give it a try? It's cold though. I'll have to wait. Yeah. I assume this much. When I saw it in the buffet, come on, scoop something up. Yeah. Ah. Mm. Oh, thank you. It tastes very like irony. Yeah, very bloody. <laughs> well, I have this massive four egg omelette. That is so soft. <laughs> that is so soft. Um, and yeah, I just need to, I need to eat a little bit healthier also on these trips. So, no rice for me for breakfast. <laughs> so here they have this very, very big, cool gong and I'm allowed to gong the gong. So I'm going to give it a try. So I'm supposed to gong it six times. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that sounds so... Calming. Calming. The vibrations. So calming. So cool. Yeah, and here we have the pool area. Oh, this is a nice looking pool. Oh, perfect temperature too. We got a basketball court. They got all sorts of stuff here. Oh, get out of here. No way. This is so cool. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is like, this is the perfect gym. Oh, I am so getting up early tomorrow. There is a gym. This is like even better than our gym at home. Like wow. way better. Look at that, look at the weights. Wow. I can do pull-ups, I can do everything. Oh, I want to go to the gym. Oh, we're going to the gym this evening for sure. Or pool. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a cool accommodation what a cool spot i was like a little bit i was a little bit on the fence when i saw everything online i wasn't quite sure about what is expecting us but coming here now this place is really cool mm -hmm. so cool you know it also reminds me a little bit of that hotel in kalbayog <laughs> right <laughs> maybe very eclectic very like yeah. unique and this here is our casa room number 103 we showed you this already earlier I was quite excited to see that there's a few new coffee shops here in the Ilocos region including the one where I just was able to order coffee from it's called uh, Coffee Dose Coffee Dose Ilocos and there's like a local delivery service here called Snap uh, you message them over Facebook and they'll coordinate the delivery and I'm just going to pick up the coffee now <laughs> so beautiful. Wow, look at the view you get. Oh my god, this is ro this is so romantic. So stunning. Do we sit yellow? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. We have come out to a Japanese restaurant here in uh, Ilocos Norte. Uh, we actually did a whole day of adventuring around and that's in its own little vlog. I just wanted to finish off this day of traveling uh, with this dinner here with this amazing view and it's just unbelievable Ilocos Mate is so so beautiful so so stunning we just had the most perfect sunset I have ever seen 10 from 10 points absolutely it was so nice and now everything has cooled down a little bit you know Philippines usually is very very hot but I feel like the further north you get the cooler it gets also when we went to Pagutput a few months ago we realized that the water was ice cold, it was really refreshing and the climate was cooler. We actually needed a jacket back then. So yeah, I can experience the same thing here. It's cooler, it's nice, it's breezy. How did you enjoy your day? It was so tiring, <laughs> but, but I love it. It was my first time. Yeah, yeah. So, I, so much fun. I think fun. I don't have a voice. Oh yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow nobody <laughs> yeah. will have a voice. <laughs> we, were, 
We were doing a uh, dune bashing today. Uh, here's just one short clip. That's crazy. That's so crazy. It was so much fun. It was amazing. But it's going to be nice to relax a little bit now. <laughs> Alrighty, we already had some sashimi come out, some salmon sashimi, and now we have some uni sashimi here as well. Are you supposed to take the entire thing? Yeah, I think it's one, two, three. Oh no, I don't want the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can just try it for mine. I also don't know if I'm gonna have the whole thing, but at least try. Try, try, try. A little bite, a little soy. You will like it. I will like it. Yeah. Okay. Did, yeah. Do you, did you like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Too strong for me. Do you like it? Like a rotten muscle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. You're not, not a, no, not a, not it's a my uni first fan. time. I guess I guess this because my it's my yeah. first time and you know there's different types I guess but yeah. it's. Bila. And then a special tempura bowl. Ooh. Ooh, this sushi is really, really good. The salmon tastes so nice and soft. And... Mm. Mm. Really nice. Wow. Wow. We also each got a bowl of ramen here. Shio ramen, right? I am not sure. Looks absolutely delicious and just what we need, like to up our energies because exactly. we've had a long day i mean we got yeah. up at like two o'clock in the morning <laughs> oh my it's still the same it's day still the same day yeah. <laughs> we filmed two vlogs so it feels like it's two days already yeah <laughs> no it's, it's still the same day so like we started at two o'clock in the morning and then we had a full day of adventuring a flight dune bashing so we've never had this many meals in a day yeah we've worked hard for this uh for the shio ramen Mm. Mm. Nice and tender. Amazing. <laughs> Set up. Oh yeah, this sushi was very nice. Very, very enjoyable. How did we have ice cream? Oh. Oh. Enjoy your sushi. Very much. Oh my god. So, so good, cool. right? Very good. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, I haven't I haven't enjoyed sushi in a very long time, so I was like really Thank happy. You. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. And now we're going to head back towards the hotel, but we're gonna go to a coffee shop. Yay! I'm craving coffee. I haven't had enough coffee today for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Nice coffee shop. Hello. What do you want? Hello, Kuya. Hello. How much is the fare to Guadalupe? Okay, here we go. My first jeepney ride in the Philippines. <laughs> Exciting. And we're already making friends here. Hello, guys. <laughs> we're gonna arrest you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>